Hey everybody, Melissa here. So if you do any kind of video creation or Zoom calls and your desk is set up like mine so you have your monitors in the front and your cameras behind that, then you can have lighting issues if your monitors are on. And if you wear glasses like I do, then anything that's on your monitors is going to reflect directly into your glasses. Well, we have the ability to turn our monitors off manually. My buttons are on the right hand side. Yours might be on the left or on the side, but that creates another issue for me. When I go to turn them off, I accidentally move my monitors and I can never get them back where I had them and it drives me insane. So today I'm going to show you how to create a shortcut for your desktop and a hotkey for your keyboard so that you can turn your monitors off and never physically touch them. I cannot wait to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be using what is called a PowerShell script to create our desktop shortcut and our hotkey for our keyboard. Now basically all a PowerShell script does is replaces us manually reaching over and hitting those buttons to turn our monitors off and on with a script that does it for us in the background. Now how we're going to do this is right click on our desktop. We're going to go to new, go to shortcut, and this box is going to pop up asking us what item do we want to create the shortcut for. If you look in the description, I have given you the path to put in here or the location so that you don't have to type it out because it is pretty long. So grab it, copy it and paste it and then click next. And it's going to ask us, what do we want to name it? Well, I'm going to name my turn monitors off and on if I can type. <laughs> Tell it to finish and it's created a desktop shortcut. Now, if we double click on this, our monitors are going to go off. Now, if we move our mouse, our monitors come back on. Now, the next thing we want to do is create our hotkey for our keyboard. So we're going to right click on the shortcut, go to properties, and then down here where it says shortcut key and none, this is where we're going to put our shortcut key. Now, a word of caution is use something that is not already being used somewhere else. Like I'm going to use control shift alt M because that's not being used anywhere. If you were to use control shift D and you're in Microsoft Word and that is set up, I believe to double underline or something like that, then it's going to do that rather than turn your monitors off. So try to find something that's not already being used that you can remember. So I'm going to do control shift alt M, and if you noticed it, put it in there. I'm going to tell it apply. I'm going to tell it OK. And now when we do Control Shift Alt M, it's going to turn our monitors off. And it can take it a few seconds to do that. Move our mouse and it comes back on. Now, the last thing I want to do is I don't like this icon. And if I have a bunch of icons on my desktop, that looks like something from the post office to me. <laughs> And I can read it, but I want to change this to maybe a monitor. So let's right click on it and go to properties. And we're going to go to change icon. Now look for icons in this file. It's defaulting to where our PowerShell script is. So we're going to have to change this. I've also put that path down in the description so you can find it easily. And that is in C, Windows. We're going to go to Windows System 32. Be very careful when you're in here because this has a lot of DLLs or executables that control your operating system. So don't be scared of it, but be careful. And I'm going to do IMA because I know that's the beginning of what I'm looking for. And we're looking for this DLL here. Tell it to open. And now our icons are here. And there's a bunch we can choose from. But I'm going to click on the display monitor. Tell it OK. Tell it apply and OK. And now we have our turn our monitors off and on with a display. So let's go through this one more time. Double click on it and it turns off your monitors. Move the mouse, brings them back on. Control Shift Alt M, turns your monitors off, move your mouse and they come back on. And there you have it. 
That's how you can create a shortcut for your desktop and a hotkey for your keyboard so that you can turn your monitors off and not have to touch them and that way they will stay exactly where they're supposed to be. <laughs> if you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future tutorials. And be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.